As we reported at the top of the show, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson is a step closer to securing Senate confirmation. After West Virginia, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin announced that he plans to vote for Jackson to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. Senate Democrats can confirm Jackson without Republican support if every member of their caucus votes in favor. It is unclear tonight if Jackson will win any Republican votes. Jackson appeared before the Senate Judiciary Committee for high profile confirmation hearings this week, and one of the more memorable moments was captured by Oakland native Sarah Beth Maney. Perhaps you saw this photograph. It's she's a photographer, a photography fellow, excuse me, for The New York Times. And this photo shows Judge Jackson's 17 year old daughters you see here looking with pride and admiration at her mother. Earlier today, I spoke with Maney and she told me she was eager to cover the nomination of Judge Jackson because she wanted to lend her perspective as a black woman photojournalist. And she described for me capturing that touching moment during the confirmation hearings. As a photojournalist, I'm always looking around the room and trying to find something unique to tell the story in a full way to, to show all sides of the story. And so when I looked over and I saw Layla smile at her mother, uh, I didn't take the photo right away because it, it made me smile. I sort of had to process that moment and what it meant and how she may have been feeling. And I knew that it made me feel something really important. And so that's when I raised my camera, hoping that she would make that same facial expression again. And so it was very intentional. I was waiting for that moment to happen. I've just been very uh, grateful to see the amount of people that this photograph has resonated with. I think that so many people saw themselves represented in that photo. They saw their daughters, they saw themselves as mothers, and it was really powerful. So I'm glad that people were able to feel what I felt because when I saw Layla look at um, Judge Jackson with just this look of pride and admiration, it really translated to me what it meant for them just to be in that space. And that really related to me as a Black woman being in a room that wasn't historically designed for me to even be in to begin with. So I hope that uh, people are able to feel that same way and, and feel the power that they hold in themselves as well. It also really humanized Judge Jackson. I think that this photo captured sort of an intimate moment within the hearings that may have been missing otherwise if I, if I didn't capture it. And I think it also just shows sort of their relationship. I think it shows that uh, her daughter knows her very well, that um, she has seen what the process has been like for her. And I think she also, in my mind, I think may have been envisioning the possibilities for her own future too. You were talking with me about, you know, this fellowship that you're doing. I mean, what an assignment and then what spectacular pictures to take and what an incredible reaction to those photographs. I mean, you've got to be really proud. It's been a big moment. It's been a whirlwind. Um, I was not originally going to even tweet that photo, but someone had reached out to me and told me it was already going viral. And so I figured I might as well uh, give myself photo credit for it. And so I was definitely not expecting it to go as viral as it did. But I think if I could choose any photo from the week to go viral, it would definitely be that one. I think that this photo really impacted people because they realized the importance of representation. And for me, documenting this, it was the first time in my career where I had been in the room with more than one Black photographer. And so I hope that people just realize uh, the importance of having diversity in the room so that we're able to show these moments from our perspective.